Lovey Smith got fired. And the game that they won gave the Chicago Bears the number one seed, right? So the Texans would had the number one seed. They was going to be the pick. I mean, not the, not the one seed, the number one pick in the draft. So the Texans were going to have the number one pick in the draft. They wind up winning, and the Chicago Bears got it. He goes on in his press conference saying, we are a winning organization from top to bottom. We're going to win at all hands. And I'm not mad at him for saying that. And then he hammered him, okay? And part of the hammering was he was going to get hammered anyway. It's part of that. Like, dude, that's time to lose. We're trying to get the number one pick. That might be time to lose. Um, it's disrespectful. Lovey Smith, this is a man that left the Chicago Bears to Super Bowl years ago. Uh, he's been a journeyman kind of all, all around. I don't think he's head coach material, although he did lead the Bears to a Super Bowl. He's a coordinator. And that's fine. You know what I mean? And and I think we, we got it. People got to know their positions. Sometimes you got a skill set. You're a fine coach. You're a good coach. But he's really a coordinator. This dude is a defensive coordinator. Wrap it up. Anytime you give him a head coaching job, it's going to go down. Unless he got super, super talent all around him and pretty much he's just there doing holding a clipboard. Okay? This dude is a coordinator. No disrespect to Lovey Smith, but I love Lovey Smith. He's a coordinator, bro. Okay? So... They hide the Texans, what's the second head coach in two years, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah. the second head or the third head coach in three years, if you want to go there. Come on, man. This is another dysfunctional franchise. Okay. They hired Lovey Smith just for optics. Let me get an African American head coach in here after we had the situation with Deshaun Watson. Let's just get a guy. That's all. He was just a guy. And, and sometimes, as African American men, we got to understand let's not just be a pawn for these billionaire owners. He shouldn't even accept that job. You know what I mean? Like, what are you accepting this job for? You know, they ain't got no talent, okay? They're going to put you in a bad situation. They're going to make your record look worse. They're going to make you look bad. You know what I mean? For what? So you can just be a pawn there for a full season? Dude, you, you should have more dignity than that. He needs to be a coordinator on disrespect, but he shouldn't be taking jobs like this. And I hope the next head coach that goes to the Houston Texans realize if they're not going to give you a long-term deal with, you, with a superstar quarterback and, and give you everything that you need, you probably only going to be there for a hot minute. You know what I mean? Oh, sorry, sorry. This functional franchise. It is. And, you know, I don't think the firing, like, I, I can see it from the tanking way, right? I always thought that coaches, they need to stop being egotistic. Like, it's a it's a thin line to me because at the end of the day, coaches, it's a black and white league. You win, you're in. You lose, you're out. You, you out. know, so it's hard for me to walk that thin line with losing and saying you're supposed to lose this game because of you know, probabilities in the next year. Like, I I, I kind of got on Brian Flores for winning five games in a year where they should have been 0-16 because I'm like, yo, Joe Burrow is a franchise changer. He took the Bengals to the Super Bowl. What the hell you think he was taking the Dolphins? I don't know. It's a tough it's a tough spill, you know, when you talk about, yo, you need to lose that game. You're going to get fired anyway, so what does that do for me? But I think for me, you know, to <laughs> say if this make any sense, if it all makes sense, right, from the start, Nothing really makes sense. This world don't make sense. I mean, you look at 2023, the world don't make sense, bro. Don't get me to my philosophical mode because we'll be talking about a whole different topic before we come back to earth here, okay? It doesn't make sense to me. And I think the higher never made sense. You know, the yeah. lack of hiring Brian Flores, it makes sense. If you want to hire a black coach for the optics, as you would call it, because hire Brian Flores, right? Instead of David Cully, instead of, my guy, um, Lovey Smith. Hire Brian Flores. No, I don't get this franchise. If I'm a guy looking for a job, this will be the least attractive franchise on the Absolutely. market for me to be a coach. And it's another example of poverty. You know, I think in, with that point being said, I don't think Lovey Smith should have been fired because we all knew what this Texas team was looking like and was going into the season. They were going to have another losing season. They were gunning for a top five pick, you know, whether it was one through five, that was what their potential was, what their ceiling was for the season, damn near. Um, any team that has Brandon Cooks as your wide receiver one, Davis Mills as your quarterback one, and a rookie as your running back one. I don't think Damian Pierce was a running back one to start the season. I think it was somebody else. If I'm not, yeah. I forgot exactly who it was. I believe it was um, Mark Ingram before he got traded to the Saints. There you go. Like that, that wasn't a, a recipe for a winning, a winning team or a team that'll win a division. Um, you know, I think the jet, the the front office of the Texans just reeks. It's a horrible front office yeah. uh, from from beginning to end. Our office, our front office that promised Brandon Cooks to be traded during the trade deadline to the team of his choosing, and then didn't trade him at all. 
You know, they didn't make him available. And then Brandon Cooks didn't want to play for a couple games, not because due to injury, because he literally was like, all right, I'm done putting my body on the line for this organization who just lied to me, who just, you know, gave me fool's gold, essentially. And um, so I think the same, you know, the same one that traded D Hop too. Don't forget about that. Oh my <laughs> goodness! So it's 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 just it's it's, a, it's a so much so many issues with this Texans team. Um, but it all starts at our front office. The front office reeks of just stench, of just betrayal. And I just feel sorry for whoever gets um drafted over here because they're gonna go through the same issues. And it's, yep. it's only gonna be a cycle that continues until they clean out house completely. But um, you know, I think Lovey Smith, you know, he had a horrible season. Nobody can can say otherwise. But I just feel like his firing was a sca- was um, a scapegoat of the yeah. issues happening in the Texans, not just uh, Lovey Smith having the, the the losing record, but um the actual front office being as bad as it is. Listen, listen, Zay, they they fired them when they hired them. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> the minute he got hired, Basically. he got fired. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, you you hired. He's our new head coach. We firing this dude the last day of the season. Like they knew already. Like, that was it. That's what I mean. Like Lovey Smith. Have some dignity, bro. Like, don't take that That's job. Don't take that job. You knew not every job, not every bro. job is a good job, bro. Yeah. Lesson for thought. But I think for me, in closing on this particular, you know, um, Lovey Smith situation, I think, you know, even though we just talked about this topic, I think talking about this topic actually coincides because when you talk about Deshaun Watson, remember when they traded D Hop, right? Deshaun mm-hmm. Watson signed the extension to come back and play with Brandon Cooks as his number one and Will Fuller as his number two, right? And, and guess what? A year later, he wanted to be out of there. That's why I think Aaron Rodgers will be on that same type of timing. Like, yeah, you traded my guy, you know, Devontae Adams, no problem, because I'm getting paid. But after this year, I'm going to realize that I can't win with the talent right. around me. Let me request a trade and let me get up out of here. So that's the reason why I bring that up. <laughs>